Hello, today we're going to be talking about shooting events. Shooting events is a lot like shooting news except for with events you can plan for them. They are scheduled moments, they are something that you can put on your calendar, it's something expected where news is more unexpected. You can't plan for it, you just have to be ready. An event would be something like a lecture or a, um, a, a run that a charity might be having, having. It could be a press conference. It can be a, uh, a new product release. Anything like that that uh, will happen at a specific day, a specific time. And you can plan beforehand. You can plan afterward. That uh, still has the values of news that we discussed last time. So um, they still need to be published in a timely manner. They'll still have one of the news characteristics like novelty or conflict or um, timeliness, uh, proximity, etc. Um, just a little easier to shoot these because you can plan for them. So uh, that's why this is the first uh, photo assignment that's going to be due as opposed to the news one which isn't due until uh, March. But remember with the news assignment you do carry your camera around so you're always ready in case uh, a breaking news event happens. Alright, some strategies for uh, shooting events. One, when you go to the event you don't want to draw a lot of attention to yourself. So you kind of want to be invisible. Now if this is like a black tie affair you're going to have to dress the part. If this is something that's going to be outdoors that um, is like one of these walks or runs where people are going, going to wear uh, t-shirts and shorts you, you should be similarly dressed um, you know if you dress like your typical photojournalist with the um, photographer's vest with the lenses and carrying around two camera bags yeah you're gonna draw attention to yourself and every time you try to shoot a photo people are gonna know that you're shooting the photo and they're not going to be comfortable they're not going to act natural they're not going to be relaxed so what you end up with is a very um, fake looking photo and that's not what we're going for also become silent you don't want to be um, telling people what to do you're not really wanting to be interacting with the people until you get their names and stuff you know just kind of fall into the background don't fall, uh, uh, draw attention to yourself and don't make a lot of noise so uh, much like the tips uh, with any uh, news event try to arrive early and stay late um, you can find out a lot about an event when they're setting it up and you can find uh, some good stories when they're uh, tearing the event apart so be there for all of that when you are taking pictures of people uh, of course you want to be taking pictures of people doing interesting things from interesting angles sometimes they're not doing too many interesting things so watch their hands and face you know if they start making gestures take pictures of those gestures if they touch their face or make a good expression try to get that and the only way you're going to get that is to be shooting all the time you know I mentioned last time about uh, maybe doing a burst of three photos or doing continuously shooting that's when you're going to get the reaction shots you know you can't see someone's reaction and then shoot it you're always going to be too late so you have to almost anticipate what's going to happen by constantly be shooting. You're going to have lots of photos to go through at the end of uh, an event like this. Um, usually at these events there's some sort of props. There's a background, there's a cutout, there's a balloon, there's um, you know a post or something like that. Don't be afraid to incorporate those into your photos. Uh, you don't want to um, take a picture of just the prop because that's not interesting but um, you know including it in is not that bad because it helps tell the story and which is what we are trying to do um, all along so and also don't embarrass people uh, sometimes at these events people um, do strange things uh, especially at outdoor events uh, scratching picking poking you know whatever it happens to be you don't want to run those photos. You want to run the photos that tell a story, not, um, you know, our, our mayor likes to pick his nose before he makes a speech. 
Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, we don't need to see a photo of that ever. All right, behind beyond the photo op here, and uh, you know when an event is uh, happening, sometimes they want the media there. They want to take the very stoic picture. You know, they want the people lined up, and you know everyone smiling at the camera. That's not what you want to shoot. You want to shoot what that event is for. So let's say you're sent to go cover the city council. Well, people sitting behind a, a table or a desk at a city council meeting is not interesting. People talking at a city council meeting is not, are not, that's just not interesting either. So you find out what they're going to be talking about and try to take a picture of that. If they're going to be talking about a new light at the corner of Main and 2nd Street, go to Main and 2nd Street and see why there might be a need for you know a light or something like that. So um, do things like that, and that way you can be uh, prepared before you even go to the event. And also, you know, know what's going on with this group. Um, if it's a, um, a group that's trying to protect the environment, well, you know, taking pictures of the people standing and holding the prop is, you know, well and good, but then planting the tree is going to be much more telling, much more appropriate to um, the photo assignment. So do your research. Go there, be ready. Um, if a person goes up to talk and uh, it's the mayor of your city, you should know who the mayor of your city is. Uh, if the person going up to talk is the president of the organization, you should know ahead of time who the president of the organization is and what that person looks like. You know, know who's involved, know who the mover and shakers are at these things. And when you're there, network. You know, pass out your business card, you know, um, get their names, get their phone numbers to call back. Maybe you need a quote. Maybe you need to, um, you know, just do a headshot. Maybe um, you didn't get someone's name. And by doing this, you can not only um, make connections in the future for future events to shoot, but also to round out your reporting at the time. And some tips when shooting events. One, shoot from different angles. Don't be afraid to climb up on things, crawl under things, shoot through things, over things, around things, uh, as long as it tells the story. And remember, always tell the story. It's um, what we're here for. You know, even though we're just taking photos, you know, a, a photo is worth a thousand words. Let those a thousand words tell a story. Remember to uh, focus on the topic, not the talkers. You know, you go to some of these events and you get these people giving big long speeches. But if the speech is about uh, the environment, uh, you know, shoot people who are doing something for the environment out there, not just the person who happens to be behind the lectern or making a lot of noise. You know, remember what the event is being thrown for. Now when you go to these events, always have a, a safe shot. What a safe shot is, a, a shot that you have in your pocket, it can run, it's perfectly good photo, uh, you know it's a good photo, you, can, you reviewed it you know, uh, during the event, that you know if you send it off to your photo editor or uh, put it up on your web report, it's, it's perfectly good. You know? And then go out and try to get the interesting photos, the ones that are going to be compelling. That way you always have that back up the fall line. You don't have to worry about getting the perfect shot. You already have a good shot that you can go ahead with if everything else fails. And finally, be prepared. Bring the extra batteries, the extra SD cards, the um, you know the different lenses. Dress appropriately. Uh, do your research beforehand. Be there early. Stay late. Talk to these people beforehand. All these things will just make you not only a better photojournalist, but a better journalist and maybe a better person in general.